And last year, rancher Robert Krenz was killed in his front yard by police. I'm sorry, by what police think were a group of illegals. In three minutes, see what a team of filmmakers found going on in the rancher's backyard. I took a really close look at off in, a, in the distance a little bit where I have a, a big trailer park. I saw this face peering towards the house. Well, Arizona rancher Robert Krenz was gunned down on his own property in Arizona. A year later, authorities are still hunting for his killer in a town along the Mexican border where illegal immigrants literally walk right up to your doorstep. Take a look at this clip from a new eye-opening documentary on security along our southern border. I heard a knocking on my front door, and it was the person that I had seen the face of back by my trailer, and it was a female, Hispanic female, and she was not injured, but she was quite distraught. She came over to me, and she got down on her knees and reached up and grabbed my arms with tears running down her face, said, por favor, senor, no border patrol, por favor. She was begging me not to call the border patrol. But then she saw that I obviously already had called the border patrol. She bolted out the front door and disappeared into the darkness. Just one of many examples in a really compelling piece. Janice Kephart is the director of the National Security Policy Center for Immigration, and she joins me now. Janice, uh, so that was rancher Richard Humphreys, who's a lifelong Arizona re resident near the southern border. Uh, and he talks about how he actually had to build a watchtower uh, to help himself track illegals on his 75-acre ranch. Here it is. And just, just his story gives you a, a bird's eye view into how these ranchers have been forced to live. That's right. It's a very interesting scenario when you're actually out there in the vastness of the Arizona desert. There are very few Border Patrol who are in the area because of the geography of the area. You've got two neighbors and eight miles, and you've always got the threat in the back of your mind that you could be the next Robert Krentz. So these stories that this gentleman told me when I made the film, to me, were really compelling. And I just really wanted to let the rest of the country know exactly what it was that Arizona ranchers really deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. This is not a story that most people hear. What do they say about, you know, the, the government claims that now uh, deportations are at a record number, that the border's never been more secure. Uh, you know, what are they reporting from the front lines, if you will? Well, if you ask Mr. Humphreys, he would say, it's a fiasco. And whatever is being said about the border sec being secure, it's less secure than it's ever been. They feel more threatened than they ever have. He told me when I interviewed him, he's had over a thousand encounters with illegals on his property. And it only takes one illegal with a gun you know, to cause you serious problems. And as a gentleman, to be matter-of-factly telling me, oh yes, I built a watchtower to deal with this, is really an extreme kind of response from our point of view, but from his, it's simply doing what he needs to do to protect himself and his family. Yeah, when we heard it in, in the, the, the tease, we ran a sound bite where he was talking about how he goes up those stairs and he goes into the watchtower and he's got uh, four, uh, you know, four walls of windows so he can see what's going on to protect himself and his family. Uh, I want to ask you this. If people want to take a look at it, Janice, it's, it's, uh, it's a short film, runs less than 20 minutes total. Uh, you've got a couple of pieces to it. How do they watch it? You just simply go to our Center for Immigration Studies website, which is cis.org. It's running right at the very top of the website right now, and of course it's on YouTube as well. You know, it's so helpful, I think, in particular to people, you know, like you and me sitting here in D.C. and, and New York, so far removed, right. you just can't get it in your head when you hear these border stories about what these folks are actually facing. All the best to you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me.